Hi guys, a few people have asked me about this bender. So it's a Scandia and I bought it off the internet. I think it's from somewhere in America, but I think they've sold out, so a bit of a struggle. Somebody wanted to know if I could do a 180. So I can do it to there. And obviously I've got to move it round. Pop it back in. Make sure it's lined up alright. It's been a two-piece bender, it's quite easy to get going and then you just pull it again. There you go. Quite nice. Well right, guys, before we had all these nice benders and that kind of stuff, we used to use springs. So this is what they call an external spring. As you can see, it's got a hole through the middle. You just pop that off. You can't do tight bends, but you just do a bend around your knee like that. So that's it. Over bend it and then you just slide it off and that's your bend. Not the greatest to bend but that's what it used to be. And then obviously we used to have the internal spring which is this. If you had to bend something, put a bend on a piece of pipe, it would be longer than the actual spring itself. Yeah? What you would have to do is put something on the end of it and shove it down so you wanted the bend there you'd shove that down and mark there so that you've got the spring where you want to bend it shove it in the top shove it down to your mark you put on there and then you've got your mark there so you just then put it on your knee again you can't do tight radius bends and you just over bend it a little, take it back and then you can pull your spring straight out. So that's a spring bend on a piece of copper pipe. The only problem we had with those is if you kinked the pipe, it was very difficult to get your spring back out again. So that's why I love plumbing guys. So you want to put a long radius bend, maybe from a pressurised cylinder, from a PRV to the wall, something like that. What I've done is cut your piece of pipe ready. Put a cap end on the bottom of it like that, fill it full of water, slide the cap end on the top so now it can't escape, and then obviously you want to put a long radius bend on this now, so you just tease it like that. And what I usually do is bend it around the cylinder. So you just do it a little bit at a time, and it doesn't kink. So there you go, we've got a long radius bend that can go around from PRV to the wall. Looks quite neat. You've not kicked the pipe. And there you go, I hope that's a nice tip for you. And that's why I love plumbing. So I'll show you this backhoe bender. I've got my backhoe bender, I've got my Scandia bender, and I've got my trusted Hillmore bender. I'll show you how to use them. So basically this is a two part bender, but it's fastened. So you put that in there, Pop it onto the former like that, and then you just bend it like that, and then you've got your bend. That's it. Hi right, guys, this is a two part bender that I bought off the internet. It's called it's from Scandia. So you just pop it underneath there. The other part clips onto the other side of there, so those two bits sticking out. Pops out. Bend. I like that little bender, it's nice. So I've got a trusty Hillmore bender. I've had this one for probably, I don't know, 30 years. So basically, standard 15mm, you put it in there, clip the guide over, put the former in, do you notice the re-bend? There you go, that's your Hi guys, so there you go, that's your tutorial on the different kinds of spring bends, external spring bends. Trusty Hillmore, the new boy in town, which is Scandia one, and my old backhoe. So, as you can see, the bends are really quite nice. That's the Scandia one, the two piece. And these are the two with the external spring, not very nice, and the internal spring, again, not great. I've also got the one that we did, the big radius bend, that was for a PRV on a pressure cylinder. So, there you go.
Thank you very much. Put me down the bendy, and that's why I love plumbing.